Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, just doing another base tutorial. This one here is a group size base. Uh, preferably not for a solo. Uh, you know, any anywhere up from three to three plus players uh, can build this base. Um, yeah, so let's check it out. Through this door, it's just an airlock. Um, you could put a shotgun turret up above it. Through this door, you've got a drop chest. Just up here, a couple of drop chests in there. Um, through this door, you got a ladder to the left, but I'll just show you through here. You've got um, furnaces in there, and then through here, you drop down this bit, and then you've got uh, what I suggest doing is putting your main loot in there, and then just through here, you also have. A, uh, your TC so that if you do have other people join later on throughout the wipe you can give them the TC and that gives them access to the shotgun turrets and your traps so uh, that's why it's always good to put a door on your TC these days now back through here um, you've got this ladder here which goes upstairs and then I suggest putting more doors through there and then you've got uh, this area, which uh, you can have a couple of furnaces in here, um, you know, some chests in here, uh, you can store some kits, guns, whatever you want, um, through there. Like I said, I suggest putting your main loot down the bottom there, because I'll show you why it's very, very strong uh, to rock it down there. Through here, you've got um, beds, lockers, more beds, more lockers. Um, and uh, some extra chests in there if you need to put whatever you want. I don't know. It's crazy how much those lockers can actually fit. If you climb up here, um, oh, if you climb up here, you've got a shootout area. Now you can build this uh, shootout area however you want to build it. This is just a basic design. Same with the loot rooms and that. I suggest designing them the way you want to design them. The main reason I did this tutorial is just to show you guys the strength of this base and um, how to build it. So yeah, you're about to check out to see how many rockets it takes now. Here we are here guys, um, i got my mate uh, Hooky, he's just going to shoot some rockets at the roof. Um, we'll rate it from the roof and then we'll rate it from the side just to see the strength. Uh, as you can see, the rockets are only splashing um, a random floor here, so that's two now. It's done uh, two different ceiling spots. He's hitting direct center, uh, as you can see. Now that's three. This one over here is damaged. Four, so that's four rockets. It's d damaged another random one. Five. I might fast forward this up um, because uh, you will see how actual strong this actual roof design is. So that's six. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in a second. It's random, it's random where the damage is going. That's insane. It's fucking insane. So yeah, as Hooky just said then, you know, it's uh, it's crazy how uh, how strong this roof is. Um, yeah, so we actually ran out of rockets with the kit we were using. <laughs> so we're just going to... Um, uh, actually, I think we've got more here. We're just going to... We're just going to rocket... We're just going to keep rocketing straight through now. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we don't run out of rockets again.
Okay, so I think that was like 33 or 34 rockets just to get down one floor. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how we go with this one. I don't know. Uh, we'll try and aim for the core. Uh, probably best maybe not to aim the core. Um, dead center. I think I just checked my rockets here and I've gone, uh, we'll just go for the side because um, I don't think I'm going to have enough. So we'll just aim the side. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how many it takes to get down this part. Okay, so I've just run out of rockets again. I'm just grabbing more from uh, a chest that we have upstairs. Um, and I accidentally shot an ins in because there was one in my uh, inventory when I um, got the rocket kit. So, we're almost through. And now I think we are down to the armored core. Yeah, we are. So, um, uh, there's still one more floor below that. Um, I don't want to blow that yet because I want to show you guys the strength of it from the side. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, it'll probably take another six rockets to get through that armored core on the bottom. Um, yeah, so it was approximately 50 rockets um, t from the ceiling uh, to the to the core, um, and then that's not including that last bit, which would have been another six rockets. So it's definitely not worth to go through the ceiling. Uh, that's for sure. Okay, so um, I've decided to not use C4 on the walls. Um, I've decided to use rockets because that's what most people would use. I mean, they probably use two C4 on this stone wall here. Um, but I, I want to give you an indication on how many rockets it would take. So I'll just fast forward this bit as well. Yeah, so just there you can see there's uh, a couple of reversed walls. Um, keep in mind, we just speed built this base for uh, mainly just for the demonstration. So um, yeah, just don't put reverse walls if you were to build this base. Um, obviously flip them the right way around. As you can see here, I've no clipped up just to get a better angle. I mean, you can build a raid tower and shoot up to get better angles at this. Um, Obviously you can't no clip in a real uh, rust match, but um, yeah, you can build a raid tower to shoot up. Now I think all up together here it takes about uh, 30 rockets um, to get to the core, so that's pretty impressive. Um, I mean, that's not to mention all your loot rooms upstairs um, and whatnot, so yeah, that's, that's really strong. Um, and I can show you guys how to do that. Uh, now. Alright, so here we are guys. Um, try and find the flattest sort of uh, area you can find. Um, I suggest these mud flats, they're actually really good to build on. Um, and they're, they are really flat, so um, yeah, try and find one of these um, early wipe if you can. Uh, most of the time they've been taken but um, if you can jump on early to a wipe you can actually uh, find these spots pretty easily um, yeah so uh, what we're doing here is we just uh, built the low foundation stairs up and then built the higher foundations and what we're doing now is we're trying to find a area where we can build the high foundations um, and also honeycomb them. So we've got our, our low foundations here. Keep in mind to put the, the ones the foundations underneath you have to put the the higher ones up first. So now we've found where if you see underneath there there's the the core. 
and then um, up the top we've got the honeycomb section so now we're just honeycombing the core break these ones out here and that one over here all right so as you can see from the top here oops this one there you need to break that one uh, you've got the core and then you've got the honeycomb triangles around the core so now what you do is you upgrade the foundations on the floor closest to the floor and then, after you've done that, you just have to be careful. See there, uh, Hooky accidentally upgraded one of the foundations, uh, the tall foundations. You can't do that yet. You have to uh, break it. And um, it doesn't really matter with that core section because that core gets removed anyway. But if he was to do a outer foundation, uh, that would be a problem. So just here, um, it, you do the walls next. Just be careful. I think he does upgrade a foundation somewhere here by accident. You just take your time, guys, and make sure you do it right. Uh, as for the video, we're trying to do it as fast as we can here. Uh, yeah, so you just upgrade the walls. See, he's upgraded a foundation there by accident, I think. Yeah. So we just break them. You can replace the foundations if you if if you haven't uh, if if you do accidentally do it, make sure you break it before five minutes. Um, that way you can uh, replace it. Yeah. You got to place the top one first, and then the bottom one. Upgrade the bottom one. Place the walls next. Upgrade the walls. Upgrade all the walls. Um, as for this video, you can see we're not really concerned too much about um, the uh, reverse walls. Um, just showing you guys how to actually do it. So upgrade all that. Just telling him in here there's a wall that he missed. So we're just upgrading all this now. So you do all your honeycombing. Obviously, if you're going to build this size base, you don't build this base off the start. You, you build something uh, like a 2x2 two two nearby. Um, if you want to claim the land, maybe put a TC down um, and a uh, code lock on it or something like that. Um, maybe even get the foundations right first and then um, place a TC on it. Um, and then build a starter base somewhere nearby um, and that way you've got time to actually d build this base so break these core foundations now just for the purpose of this video I'm only going to be showing you guys how to build the strength of the base I'm not going to show you guys how to place chests in loot rooms and and uh, you know uh, how to build your shootout floor. Um, I'm going to leave that guys up to you. All right, so that's how you do the uh, core of the base. Um, pretty straightforward. Now this core is like, I think just this bit alone is like 20 C4, uh, 20 C, 20 rockets just to get to this section. Yeah, inside the core. And then uh, I'll show you here how we actually do the honeycombing of this. Now what you do is you um, you place a triangle out like that and then some stairs and then a square and you break that triangle and the stairs and you place a square down and then you can put uh, triangles down on this bottom section just like that it's 
easier if you get on the floor and place the um, triangle so it doesn't try to jump up on the top section. Um, I think I tell Hooky here to just jump down. It's just a lot easier on the bottom and place those uh, triangles. Now upgrade all that. Alright, so now you place your door frames. Now upgrade all your um, walls and do the same for the uh, inner core bit and um, and then do all your honeycombing up two stories. Okay, so after completing your honeycombing, uh, we're just going to go upstairs here. And uh, so what you do is you do your honeycomb up two-story tie. Um, I've just skipped all that because uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, all you do is place walls and then you know fill in the gaps. Um, I think Rookie's just trying to place the floor here now. So on the second story, place your place your floors like that. Um, you can put uh, drop chests and stuff down here, um, you know, and just have minimal yeah, loot rooms. Um, I like to have extra loot rooms because I just like to have heaps of storage, but you can place chests just here. As you can see, we've uh, bring up the honeycombing two stories high, and uh, we're just placing these chests down now. The important part to this is um, you have to place that ceiling down first and then you have to drop back down to the bottom and uh, do the roof stacking bit. Okay, so we just dropped down here. Um, Hooky's going to place the ceiling in now. So yeah, you put the roof, sorry, in first here. And then uh, you put your ceilings and walls, upgrade them. There's an order in this, so you must do it this way. And this makes it that that core section is really strong. So all I'm showing you guys here is how to build this core section and uh, and do all the honeycombing and stuff. So that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you can uh, design the loot rooms and the shootout floors the way you want to design them. Uh, but yeah, that's about it.